Hi, this is Grace Johnson of Name of the Lord 777 Ministry. And today we're going to show you a video that will bless you financially and spiritually. Hi, this is Mark Johnson. The New World Order has five distinct steps to take over the world. First, the oil price crash to control Russia. Then, the end still panic with ISIS, followed by hyperinflation leading to monetary collapse in the world. And finally, martial law and total control. I strongly believe that Obama will collapse the economy in September 2015 this year. Just remember seven years prior, 2008, September, it was a 777 point drop. Prior to that, seven years, 2001, September, 911, 685 point drop. I think God's trying to tell us something. Listen, America. Take a look at the mega conglomerates in America that own every media outlet. This is why you don't know hyperinflation is coming. Just like in Germany in 1923 and again in 1980 with Jimmy Carter in America. Order controlled media are responsible for many changes in America, from God fearing to a godless society ready for Obama communism. Two techniques they use one, selective reporting, two, back masking. Bible warns of a one world government in the end times. And you've already seen the proof with mega conglomerates. They and the New World Order have controlled the economy for seven years in a deflationary and stagflationary state. Federal Reserve is printing $85 million every month out of thin air.
Let me go to Mark Faber in, in uh, Budapest. Mark, I heard you uh, say that you now believe it is 100% guaranteed that we are going to have hyperinflation like Zimbabwe. Yes, that's correct. And if we destroy our currency, which is what the Obama plan might do, if we have hyperinflation, it's not going to matter how much money we have because we're not going to be able to buy anything with it. Well, Adrian, when you print gigantic amounts of money and you flood the world with money, throughout history, that has led to inflation. If you're worried about $4 a gallon of gasoline, you better worry about $8 a gallon of gasoline. Uh, the problem is we have a printing press. We can pay our debts by printing money. People think that hyperinflation can't happen here. Well, you know, the laws of physics works everywhere. If you throw a ball up in the air in Zimbabwe, gravity is going to bring it back down. You can't print money, phantom money out of thin air based on nothing and producing practically nothing without causing the dollar to devalue dramatically. That's not deflation, that's temporary. Quantitative easing is inflation. But they're going to blow us all up. If you have money in the bank, that money is decreasing in value. In other words, we should all be worried about inflation because it affects the prices of everything you use on a daily basis. There have been good men warning us for years about inflation. Jim Rogers, Peter Schiff, Mark Faber, Ron Paul, and many others. They have spoken about the uncontrollable spending that will lead to the total collapse of the United States. And then there have been those in power who have ignored the warnings, George W. Bush, Ben Bernanke, Timothy Geithner, Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi, and all of Congress. We will show you how these individuals, through stimulus plans, bailouts, low interest rates, and the ever-expanding balance sheet of the Federal Reserve, will lead to the destruction of the U.S. currency. No, this is not a get-rich scheme. But believe it or not, you are about to be an overnight trillionaire. You heard me right. I said trillion, not billion or even a measly million. And you don't have to do a thing except to sit and wait. And wait. Then, kaboom, you hear that dreaded word that could make us all trillionaires overnight. That word is hyperinflation. One of these days, when you least suspect it, just one issue will dominate the news. Hyperinflation. Hyperinflation killed everyone's money overnight in the Weimar Republic of Germany, when overnight the German people needed a wheelbarrow of money to buy a single loaf of bread. Hyperinflation killed the economy of Zimbabwe shortly after their leaders embraced economic policies similar to those enacted by President Barack Obama and fellow progressive politicians. You see, once hyperinflation struck in Zimbabwe, the money held by its citizens vaporized as inflation peaked at 231 million percent per year. One hundred trillion dollar bills became chump change. So in Zimbabwe, even the poorest of the poor were worth one trillion Zimbabwe dollars. The London Telegraph reports, a loaf of bread, which cost 500 Zimbabwe dollars in August 2008, cost between 7,000 and 10,000 Zimbabwe dollars the next month. Ah, but you think that could never happen to the U.S. dollar? Think again. 
because not long ago, in 1980, when the nation of Zimbabwe was born from the former British colony of Southern Rhodesia, the Zimbabwean dollar was more valuable than the US dollar. Why? Because the US dollar was bloodied badly by President Jimmy Carter by reckless spending, triggering inflation and prime lending rates above 20%. But after Zimbabwe adopted the Jimmy Carter, Barack Obama type of big government spending mania, Zimbabwe quickly descended into the nightmare of hyperinflation, turning citizens into overnight trillionaires. At first, the people rejoiced. They were all millionaires, then billionaires, then trillionaires. And then, the government just couldn't print the money fast enough. So Zimbabwe's economic system went bust. And in 2009, abandoned their own currency. Today, they still have no national currency and are forced to use currencies from other nations, like the so-called solid US dollar, which technically is no more sound than a Zimbabwean dollar, since the US is actually in deeper debt than Zimbabwe. For that matter, the United States under Obama is currently the most indebted nation in the history of the world. In short, economically, we are dead. We simply just haven't fallen over yet. I promised to make you a trillionaire at the beginning of this video and here's the simple formula. Take $10,000 out of your savings, buy gold, and wait. The first year after Obama collapses the economy, you'll have $10 million. The second year, you'll have $10 trillion. And you will be rich compared to everyone else because you have gold. Conclusions are simple. If you invested in gold, you are now a trillionaire for the last seven years of this age. If you've done nothing, you'll be a trillionaire with worthless paper money.